Hi y'all, it's Vic. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and throw up. I'm about seven days out from leaving for uh, Amicalola Falls to start my through hike on the Appalachian Trail and wanted to get together a gear video. I have finished, um, as of today, finally, finished all of my gear picks and got everything ready and weighed in. So uh, I wanted to uh, go ahead and put a, a pre-hike gear list on my channel and uh, welcome any feedback, any comments that you guys want to leave. That would be great. Um, Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is uh, the clothes that I'll actually be hiking in when I start the trail. Uh, so these won't necessarily be in my pack, but rather on my body, and then that can change and vary at any given time with also the avail availability to ship things home as uh, the weather warms up. Uh, for socks, I'm doing the uh, Injinji sock liners um, with the, the little toe sock bottom on them for uh, some extra blister protection there. And then I have uh, Darn Tough socks. These are the only socks that I like. Um, they're so comfortable, they're super durable. I've got uh, the crew length here and then I have a longer pair that uh, come up like mid-calf, I guess, um, for the colder months and I'll uh, right at the beginning and then I'll be able to switch that out for two pairs of the crew length. So I'll have a pair um, that I'm hiking in and then I'll have a pair in my drive bag to kind of rotate back and forth. Um, I went with Dirty Girl Gators to uh, keep the dirt out of my shoe, keep the bugs out of my shoes, off my legs. Um, I really like these, they're comfortable. They were easy to, uh, attach the Velcro to my hiking boots and then those just snap onto the laces. So Dirty Girl Gaiters. Um, I have a buff um, used for a million different purposes. Um, keep my hair back, keep my neck warm, whatever I kind of need that for. That's been invaluable on my trips. I'm doing a Under Armour sports bra and I'm just taking one sports bra. And then I have a pair of underwear. I have an extra pair um, ex officios in my dry bag. Kind of see how that goes um, as far as those hopefully they don't uh, cause me any issues. If so, I'll switch them out or send them home. Um, for actual clothing, I am doing, this is a Mountain Hardware um, synthetic tank top. So I'll wear this next to my skin. So over top my sports bra next to my skin. Um, it's pretty comfortable. I like to wear a tank top no matter what. So um, I can hike in that alone or I have layers that can go on top of that, um, just temperature depending. Uh, this is a three quarter zip, um, long sleeve synthetic REI shirt. Love this shirt, got it on clearance, um, so definitely didn't have to break the bank on that one. And uh, it's worked out really good. It's very comfortable and it's it's also pretty warm um, with, uh, with the tank top. And then I also did, this is, let me show you. This is a L.L. Bean uh, stretch sport fleece. So for, um, I'd say potentially the layer that I'll be hiking in more often than anything would be that. Um, it's really warm. It's windproof. It's got a layer of, uh, you know, some waterproof coating on it. And uh, that was a really good find. I had a hard time deciding on that uh, mid layer what I wanted to do and uh, ended up falling in love with that as soon as I tried it on. They do have uh, waterproof zippers on the pockets and uh, it stretches really good. It moves with me um, as far as what, when I have the pack on. So I was really, really happy with that. Um, for bottoms, I like to hike in tights. So I am doing, these are uh, from a company called Athleta. And these are the Powerlift 2.0 tights. They actually have um, a synthetic uh, fleece lining in them. They're so warm and so comfortable. Um, again, I'm, I like to hike in tights. That's just what I'm more comfortable with. And uh, they have the waterproof zippers on the side. So while it's still colder out, those tights are gonna be amazing. Um, they definitely keep me warm, but they also wick any kind of sweat away from the skin. So I'm pretty happy with those. And I will switch those out uh, as the warmer months come. For my shoes, I am doing, these are the La Sportivas. I call these my hybrid shoes. They're not a trail runner, but they're not a full on hiking boot. So uh, they do have the um, the soles on these. I was really, really happy with the soles on these. They have that um, Vibram bottom on them, but there's also some give in them, like a, like a in a trail runner would be. Uh, they have the Gore-Tex coating on the outside and then speed laces on the top. I am taking a little extra uh, paracord just in case I have a lace issue or an issue with one of the toggles on here and I have to relace. Um, and then I'm using the sole uh, inserts. I did not heat these. I broke these in by wearing them. Um, these do have the availability to be heated in your oven and then molded to your foot. But these were uh, the best insoles I found that fit with my feet and they really, really make these shoes even more comfortable. So. Those are the clothes that I will be starting with here in about seven days. Alrighty, so this crazy looking pile here is my gear. Um, I started from the ground up with gear. Literally when uh, I made the commitment to this trip and decided that I was, uh, I was gonna put uh, my heart and soul into this and make it happen, um, 
none of this stuff existed. So I had very little of my own camping equipment and just kind of depended on my boyfriend for everything. And uh, so this is definitely uh, a shot of a lot of hard work and a lot of time and energy and effort that I've poured into this. But uh, And I'm pretty happy with it. So I think, uh, I think it's going to do the trick. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. This is... Uh, these out of the way. This is my shelter. I'm using the Big Agnes um, Fly Creek UL2 tent. I have the uh, the tent, the poles, the uh, tent stakes, and then I went with the Big Agnes um, ground tarp with that. So that's my uh, shelter right there. My sleep system is here. This is the REI Jewel. Uh, it's the women's long sleeping bag. I'm about 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, and I was just more comfortable uh, with the long sleeping bag as far as my feet pushing into the toe box. Um, Right here is, I uh, did the Thermarest Neo Air uh, X-Lite, the noisy yellow one, um, but it's it's really comfortable and totally worth it as far as cutting ounces versus um, the other sleeping pad that I considered taking. So I'm, I'm really happy with my sleep system and uh, it's definitely warm and will serve its purpose. Um, have the Thermarest Z seat here. It's pretty much a standard these days, I guess, uh, as far as the usefulness of that. This is my pack. Um, I went with the Osprey R50 AG. So I had started out wanting a 65 liter pack and knew in my mind that I would pack a 65 liter pack tight. So I went with the 50 and just decided that if all this didn't fit in there, then it didn't need to go. So I've made my gear choices around my pack versus uh, the other way around. This is uh, the Z-Packs um, rain cover for my, for my pack. Fits amazing um, as far as being two different companies. So I'm really happy with the way that this fits and I love the material and how light it is and that it just kind of packs into itself with its little stuff sack. And then I am carrying on the front, this is a Gossamer gear. Um, I mean, call it what it is, it's a fanny pack. I know there's a bunch of glorified names out there for them, but it's a freaking fanny pack, so. I, I, uh, I like it because I can easily access uh, snacks or a map or uh, my cell phone or my headlamp, whatever I need to keep right there on the front during the day that's easily accessible without having to uh, strain around and reach for the hip pockets on this. Um, that is one thing about this is the hip pockets are a little difficult to get to. So um, going with that uh, fanny pack, it fits really nice under the hip belt. Um, there doesn't seem to be any extra rubbing or anything, so I'll see how it works out. If it becomes an issue, that's something that can easily be uh, sent home. For my cook system, I am using the, this is the MSR Pocket Rocket. Um, I know they just came out with a new one, but this is the older version. Works great. Isobutane fuel. And then my cook pot is actually just a, this is just an aluminum grease pot. It's got a little grabber in there for, um, for when it comes off uh, your heat source. And then I just made a little cozy for it to keep it warm. Shout out to Dixie for the recommendation on that pot because it's super lightweight and just cooking for one person, it works fantastic. Um, I've also got this um, pouch made out of Reflectix, just a little DIY home job for um, cooking in Ziploc bags. Um, I got a pack towel, Bic lighter, titanium spork, and then just um, a little sponge for cleanup, and that's all kept in this mesh bag. For my cup, I am using uh, Snow Peak Titanium 600. Love this. I had the um, Sea to Summit collapsible cup that was silicone, but you can't put that on a fire. So I kind of wanted to, uh, ounce wise, the Snow Peak was actually less. Um, for weight and you do have the availability that you can um, put that directly on your heat source. So I uh, went with the Snow Peak because I'm a coffee addict and uh, I have to have my coffee or I don't function. So that seemed to work out better. For water filtration, I am using uh, the Sawyer Squeeze with an ever new uh, two point or a two liter bag um, for my uh, dirty water filtration there. Didn't like the bags that came with the Sawyer, so got that ever new off of Amazon. Um, I think it was about 20 bucks, but definitely worth the money. Um, as far as it not popping or uh, you know getting any holes in it as easy. And then I've got um, smart water bottles, um, two one liter bottles, just uh, one on each side of my pack. Don't know that I'll necessarily carry two liters at any given time for uh, weight purposes, but I do have the availability to, uh, to do that. And then I have the uh, Black Diamond Spot uh, headlamp. Love that headlamp. It's been on every adventure I've been on with me. And um, uh, I like that it has the reading light on it, you know, the red light, and then it dims and brightens as necessary. So, um, and it has the adjustability to it. So I really like that headlamp. Um, this is my food bag. So I'm using, this is a 13 liter Sea to Summit um, dry bag. It's made out of a plasticky material. I had a, um, another Sea to Summit bag. I think it was a 20 liter bag that I had to use an op sack down inside to uh, keep it odor proof. And weight wise, they ended up, the, the op sack and the other one together were the same weight as this one, this 13 liter bag um, that is made of a little bit heavier material. But 
What I'll say with this one is that I feel a lot better about the snap closure on top when I go to bear bag it. Um, I feel better about uh, the durability of this bag and just the way that the food packs down in it better. It just, it was a better option for me. So uh, really, really happy with this food bag and glad I decided that I didn't need, um, didn't need to ditch it just because again, the bag is a little heavier, but when you have to add stuff to make other things scent proof, it, it kind of comes out in the wash. So I'm happy with that. This is uh, nine pounds of food in this bag and that will be food for Amicalola to Neil's Gap. That's the actual food that I'll be uh, carrying with me. These are, uh, this is just a little wallet that I'm going to use. I bought it from Z Packs. Um, keep my cards in, my cash, and then I just have a little um, Gerber pocket knife, seven bucks, Walmart. Worked better than anything else um, that was super heavy. Camp shoes, wild, crazy, fun camp shoes. So I just went with clogs. Um, they're lightweight, they don't weigh much. They carabiner, super easy to the front of my pack, and uh, I really, really freaking love the color on those. They're a lot, they're a lot of fun, so. Uh, you get looking at dull, boring stuff every day. All the no colors. These are these are definitely exciting. I don't think I'll get them mixed up with anybody else's. And just a cheap pair of sunglasses in there. I break sunglasses like it's my job, so uh, I don't know how long those will even last. Um, winter gear wise, I am taking uh, these are the North Face uh, Apex E Tip Plus gloves and just a wool toboggan. Those will get sent home when it gets a little warmer. And then this is my rain gear. Um, I had a, a marmot jacket before this um, that I still have if for some reason this one were to fail, but uh, this frog's hog jacket, it's the uh, Ultralight 2 jacket that I ordered weighs a little over 4 ounces. The marmot jacket was 14 ounces, so I needed to cut some weight. That's where I decided to do it. It's just hope and pray that the jacket holds up and uh, does its job. And then I have, uh, this is the ULA equipment uh, rain kilt. So super super light um encloses into itself in that little pack and uh i did not want to do rain pants and be all hot and sticky and sweaty in there so i went with the uh the rain skirt these are my dry clothes so this is an osprey six liter uh, dry bag with a roll top on it these are my sleep clothes so it's just a pair of um black uh, synthetic they're like silky uh, leggings that are kind of loose uh, to sleep in with a black fleece long sleeve shirt and uh, there's an extra pair of the ex officios on top there I have a pair of, these are Under Armour shorts and a short sleeve marmot shirt. So I can either um, wear those for town clothes, I can sleep in those when it gets warmer, or the shorts I'll actually hike in, probably when it gets a little warmer if I don't switch to capri tights. And then these are my extra uh, darn tough socks, the ones that are a little bit taller, and my sleep socks to keep my feet warm. Up here, um, this is the Arteryx Thorium. This is the puffy I went with uh, for my jacket. Absolutely love this thing. I've worn it all winter. I've been toasty warm. Um, I had the Patagonia down sweater before this. Uh, I did not have a hood, so I had to make a change and decided to go with that. So glad I did. Um, toilet paper, and then under the toilet paper, I have the, uh, let's see, the Deuces Bates for getting the business done there. Um, this is my first aid kit here. So it's super simple and pared down. Just some medication, some ibuprofen, some Excedrin, uh, some Benadryl, a couple Band-Aids some moleskin, a little bit of duct tape. I think I am going to wrap that around my trekking poles. Um, a single shot of super glue, and then I have a couple strips of KT tape uh, on the back there. So that's first aid. Uh, this is my sewing kit. So a few pieces of tenacious tape, a couple of needles, some dental floss to sew with, and some extra Velcro. You hear my dogs in the background. <laughs> They're not being very patient. And then all of this will go in here in this waterproof bag. Uh, extra Bic lighter still in the packaging and extra headlamp batteries. For bear bagging, um, I'm using, I've got 50 feet of paracord. I've got the Z-Pax um, poop and fiber rock bag. And then I am just uh, using an MSR um, titanium tent stake instead of a stick. I feel better about this not breaking um, as far as um, the stick could snap. I don't want to hunt for a dirty stick every night. It was just easier. This weighs nothing just to kind of throw that in there and have it. Um, these are, okay, so for toiletries, um, keeping my toiletries in this Sea to Summit bag, and uh, I tried to again pare this down to just the bare essentials. Um, have some dehydrated uh, the towels that you just add water to, and then they'll reconstitute. And I can get these in uh, resupply as needed. Um, contact case and solution. These uh, little half ounce dropper bottles I ordered off of Amazon. Um, I have it for my contact solution, and then I also keep uh, my Dr. Bronner's soap in another one. Um, I think they came like 50 for eight bucks or something, and uh, they're great as far as um, keeping your liquids in so you don't have to carry too much of anything at one time. Um, 
Body Glide, sunscreen. I've got some extra hair ties on the sunscreen, earplugs, chapstick, uh, my gold bond, and then I have toothpaste and toothbrush. I am going to cut uh, my toothbrush off to save some ounces there, and then all that will just go in this toiletry bag here. Uh, these are my electronics. So what I'm taking is an Anchor uh, battery charger. That will charge. I have the iPhone 7. That will charge that from completely dead to full about four times. And then for in town for charging that up and my other electronics, I have an Anchor um, power box there um, that my two cords can plug into at once. And it does have the fast charge capability on it. And I've just got uh, my iPod, my headphones, my charging cables. And uh, I am also taking... Um, like I said, I have the iPhone 7 that's through AT&T. Um, I got a little Verizon uh, prepaid phone just for, um, it weighs three ounces, uh, for trail emergencies and for those moments of weakness when I just need to call home and talk to my tribe. Um, I feel like that can kind of make sort of all the difference for me uh, as far as that. So it was definitely kind of worth it. I think it's $30 a month um, while, you're, you know, while you're using the phone for unlimited calls and texts and uh, Again, just the ounces and the dollar amount were definitely worth it for um, the purpose that it serves. Um, back here, I've got um, the AWOL's AT guide. I'm gonna take half of that and then have the other half sent to me as needed. Um, my trekking poles are the Black Diamond Ergo Cork Trail Women's Poles. And then I have the stick pick to, uh, to take videos and to hold my phone with um, for that. Um, and then I think the last thing here is just this bag of miscellaneous that I have. Um, got my compass, my ink pen. This is a waterproof journal. Um, may keep that, may send that home, just depending on weight. I guess I'll decide once I'm out there. And then I did go ahead and do the uh, Appalachian Trail um, passport to get the stamps in. I'm sentimental, so I kind of wanted that for uh, the memorabilia purposes. So um, I think that is it. Everything all together. Um, Without food and water, so base weight is uh, right, a just a little bit over 19 pounds. Um, I don't think that's that's too bad. I was happy with it. I would have liked it to have been a little lower, but uh, uh, like I said, if you want to leave any comments or suggestions, if you see anything that can be cut um, ounce-wise or whatever, just uh, just let me know. I'm definitely welcome the advice. But uh, near as I can tell, this is it. I think I'm uh, I think I'm ready to go, as dialed in as I could possibly be, and uh, I'm pretty excited. So. Happy trails to you guys, and uh, hope to see you out there. Thank you.